Okay, so this video is basically to talk about how do we do a justified alignment in Microsoft Word. So in um, Microsoft Word, um, let me change the layout to landscape first. Okay, so that um, we can have a better view of this thing. Okay, so this is the page. And um, of course, we can change, um, let me change the font size to like 36. Okay, so when I type in some random text, then um, we have a few pages over here. Okay, so for these few pages, um, now we would like to apply this justified alignment. Control A to select all, and then um, we move our cursor to the home tab, under the home tab, and um, we will be able to see this um, this part here, right? So under home tab, you will a bit slow, um, okay, right? So under home tab and in the group paragraph, we have four types of alignment. So by default, it's left aligned, and then you can see over here is um, center, and then right and justify. So we will be using this one um, as our, for our video here. Okay, so let's click at this thing. So once you click at this one, you will see that the text um, is being justified. Let's try one more time. Just observe what happened to the text here. So this is left aligned and justified will be ar arranged, um, put everything into the same width by expanding the, what is that? Uh, white spaces, right? So all the white spaces will be expanded and then um, in the end, our text will be looking like this. So there are situations where, for example, you would like to expand this one until the end, right? So you want to get the um, justified on the last line as well. Okay, so how do we do that? So click at this one. You see, you click at the last um, one line before the last line. Okay, so basically it's over here. And on your keyboard, basically what you need to use is some um, shift enter. Shift enter here. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Not here, but um, shift enter here. Right, so in the last line, shift enter, you will see that um, this alignment will be also being um, expanded. So compared to just now, you see um, by default, uh, Justify doesn't um, expand the last line, but um, when you put in shift enter, it will expand the last line into the same thing as well. So that you see when, when you look at everything, it's like a box. Okay, so this is the situation when you have the shift enter over here, right? So you see, um, Sometimes it is quite hard for us to do on this thing. Let's say um, left or right, and then justify. It's still the same. So how do we get rid of this? Um, so knowing how to create this, um, just how to justify the last line. Let me highlight this one in yellow. So we will know how do we deal with um, this thing when you receive a file from your colleagues on how to like um, if you don't want it to be in this way then easiest way is that you take a backspace right so sort of like to remove the soft enter soft enter here is shift enter okay and then you press enter not shift enter but just enter so you see it won't be expanded so this is one way that means um instead of doing it as like um having it here so we know that now if let's say this is um, created by shift enter then you just remove the shift enter backspace okay so that's how we um, get rid of this one that is the first thing okay so second way of doing that is that uh, imagine if you have a lot of um, text having this kind of issue for example over here again right so shift enter one more time Right, so you want to remove all these um, soft enter, but um, it's quite hard for you to determine or to check where is this soft enter. So in order to solve this issue, if let's say you are dealing with a very long, um, large Microsoft Word file, so what you can do is go to file and then option. We open up this option window, right? So go to at once. Right, so click at, at once. 
and then scroll until the last scroll until the last the bottom right so let me zoom out a bit okay so at the bottom here you will see that um, there is one option called do not expand character spaces online that end with shift and shift return so return is enter um, so you can take this one and then um, just click ok right so click ok on this you will see that um, whether you use shift enter or enter now it doesn't expand okay so that is how you can um, remove this thing of course um by doing that then um you are adjusting the the what's that called option okay so this is one way of, or one situation this scenario basically happens when the user or the create um the, the user of this document when they create these documents they actually use shift enter to expand the line okay so if you want to avoid this one two ways one to remove right so one is to remove the shift enter or shift return okay second way is to um, change option so how, how how do we change the option here so we are doing it in like um just now file go to file and then option at once and then um oops once right so do not uh, don't expand dot 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 on shift enter right so take this one shift return take this one this option okay so that is how we, we deal with this one okay so this is when um actually the user create this one by using shift enter instead of um, enter okay so we can solve it in this way let me highlight this one in some other color so let's say uh, gray okay right so this is our solution okay so now um, there's another way of doing that um, let's say if I create a new one um, new new text file right okay then um, page layout let me change it to landscape um, easier for us to create um, and then um, the text to be 36 okay right so as usual um, we can insert some random text okay right so having this random text here um, few pages right two pages okay so if you want to expand this justified um, alignment um, in this way and you want to ensure that the last line also being fully justified so how do we do that um, one way is you can use shift enter to fully justify it okay right so one way is to use um, shift enter right let me put it down a bit okay so one way is shift enter or shift return okay another way of doing that is that um, we can actually use control ctrl plus shift plus j so in another it's just a control and capital j okay so let me highlight um, select all these things again right so until the end so this is left align so originally we have left align on um, Texas text right so now instead of clicking at the button here instead of this one instead of this one so we actually use another way which is um, control shift J so control J is to justify one more time is to just um, go back to the original one so control shift J you see it becomes fully justified um, the effect is the same as um, control shift uh, the, the, the shift enter but it is easier and um, next time if you don't need that you just control shift J okay so this is on um, how you can actually um, deal with this one so this is the two two ways of doing this um, fully justified okay 
So back to this um, text here. So now we would probably say that okay, um, if let's say shift enter, let me change the option first. Change it back, right? So we have to allow it to expand. Okay, right. So you see, um, this one is fully um fully justified. So probably we want to ask um if let's say I align to left, what happened? No issue. Justified, you see. So can we um have like um control shift J? Sorry, let me left line first. So can I have um control shift J over here? Right, so you see it works as well and control shift J will come back. Okay, but if I use control J it will still be fully justified. Um looking at the yellow color line here. Right, so for this case, two methods to solve it, either to remove the shift return or to change the option. Okay, so for this video, we will end here. Um, see you in the next video.